one of the areas that we have identified as a priority to attract new business to Barbados, whether 15% or any fraction thereof is in the area of ESG, because that aligns immediately with Barbados's global advocacy. So that allows us then to attract new business into country, to set up domicile here. It creates new jobs, and this sector is unique because you have a lot of entities that may come offshore and so on, and they come and they set up and they're hiring at the bottom of the scale, lowest income jobs, and you don't have a lot of highly skilled professionals. This sector is the opposite. This sector has a blend of highly skilled professionals and persons who are you know, top to bottom. We have companies, for example, that have their global headquarters here, and they have the largest number of employees right here in Barbados that they have anywhere in the world. Why is that? Education, skills, capacity, level of professionalism, and the thing that we take for granted that this is Barbados. Mm -hmm. And people genuinely love living and working in Barbados. But that competitive set is what we as a government are working on now. That business facilitation piece is what we're working on now, disaggregating it and putting it back together into a single package that becomes the thing that markets Barbados with or without a tax rate or with a tax rate that has been globalized.